Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, a bit less than a month ago, I had a look at a uh, puzzle from the Magpie magazine, um, April's edition, and I promised, well, I said that we'd have a go at some others at some point, and finally here we are. Um, I'm going to have a look at what we called a B grade puzzle. The last one was an A grade, so we're stepping up a little in difficulty here, but it's a kind of classic listener style puzzle. This one's called No Nonsense by Jayquiz, I think we pronounce that, given that it's spelt like the Shakespeare character rather than the French Jacques. Um, so, as always, the first thing to do is to have a look at the preamble. In most clues, solvers must either reject an extra letter or introduce a missing letter before solving. That's in the clue. These letters in clue order describe one event within an historical sequence that has a contemporary significance. Remaining clues are normal, but solvers must greet their answers with the same response that the event received. Who knows what that means? Solvers must greet... So if there's a normal clue, something has to happen to the answer. Alterations in clues and final grid entries are all real words. That's almost certainly going to be useful. Numbers in brackets, that's at the end of the clues, refer to the space available in the grid, so they don't really tell you the actual length of the answers. Okay, so all we can really do is know that in, was it most clues? Yeah, in most clues there's a letter either to be added or taken away. And um, then we're just going to have to have a go at it. So I've, I've done the grid out here. Um, I should really have a list of clue numbers to figure out the extra and removed letters. But let's just have a look at this. One across. Scold American biting into sloth's, sloth's fruit. Um, sloth or sloth. Now... That is obviously one of the seven deadly sins, but in crossword terms, there are two sloths who turn up a lot. One is AI, the two-toed sloth, and one is Unau, a four-toed sloth, I think, maybe three. Um, so those are great words for crossworders to know. And a fruit that we're seeing a lot more in crosswords these days is the and here's another pronunciation difficulty, Hachai, I think, A-C-A-I, the so-called superfood. Um, so A-I for the sloth, and we need to put C-A in it, and that could be cold American. So we've got an extra letter of an S there, and in goes that fruit that I'm not going to try and pronounce again. So one down, poetically full steam ahead at C. Poetically would normally mean that that's a qualifier in the dictionary definition of some word. Full steam ahead at C. Well, at C can be an anagram indicator, but full, it doesn't look like an anagram of a head. So full steam ahead could be a main, and C and main are synonymous, the Spanish main. So that could be an extra letter of a T in the clue. And the answer being a main, I'm confident enough to put it in. Two down, breath freshener, air conditioning, teaching, reaching cabbage. Well, I think there is a cashew, which is an old breath freshening mint or preparation. So air conditioning can be AC and a cabbage can be a shoe. So how is that working? Ah, oh, well, if reaching was breaching, AC is breaching cashew. So I think we're getting an extra letter of B in that one. Three down. Artificially grainy to get elderly smiling broadly. Is that a beam? A grin could be smiling broadly. Yes. Artificially is an anagram. Grainy can become grain. We've got an extra letter of a Y. So in fact we had T... B, Y in those first three down clues, so the message seems to have by in it after a word ending in T. 
11 across. In some areas, chatter. Looks a bit like magpie. In school, about short publication. It's really looking about magpie. Um, a school can be a gam. I think a, a school of Wales can be either called a gam or a pod. Again, very useful crossword words to know. So school about can become gam turned round to be mag. But mag also looks like a short publication. It's being short for magazine. Mag mag? Don't really understand. Oh, well, maybe mag is the whole answer. It could be three definitions or two definitions and some wordplay. So in some areas, chatter. I think mag, because of magpie, can be a dialect word for chatter. A short publication can be mag, and then school about can be mag. So I think maybe mag's the whole answer. Now, 13 down, taking credit for payment in separations cleft produces bitterness. Well, I'm immediately thinking acridity for the solution, meaning bitterness. So if you take credit, which is the letter CR, for something in separations, cleft could become left. I don't quite understand that, and that's annoying because I can't see what's going on there. <coughs> 15 across, beginning non it was a struggle removing weight from truck. Um, that looks like wagon without the W, giving agon, which is an old word for struggles, where agony and antagonist come from. But I've got non. I suppose I could add non and get nonagon. I don't know why. <clears throat> 17 across. Neville Shute's material. Neville Shute was an Australian novelist who wrote On the Beach. But I'm sure his letters, is this is just going to be, he's contributing to this only for letters. I, I haven't really made progress. I mean, 13 could be acridity. Or it could be a word meaning produces bitterness. Acrifies? I don't know. Payment in separations. Well, I got a great start in the northwest corner and then didn't really make much progress. So let's have a look at five across. Poisonous gas deployed in bits. I think there's a gas called stibine. And if we added an E to that anagram, made it in bytes perhaps. That will work. I think that's right. Six down. Proved whist has disappeared and set up a drive. Teed. If you tee up a ball, you set it up for a drive. So teed could be set up a drive. Proved. Oh, tested with st both whist and st can be synonyms for be quiet. So that would be tested without the ST and teed. So that would be a short word. Now I am beginning to wonder if we could add non to words which don't have it. So we could put in tenant and that would go with non and gone. And mag would become magnon, is that which is a, must be a word, but it's cro-magnon. So it looks like we're adding non to words. Oh, that doesn't make this acridity, though. Acrimony. That's a more normal word for bitterness. Taking credit. Oh, payment and separation is alimony. And if you take CR for, it, for alimony's left or L, you get acrimony. That's better. And now that letter is a C. So we got S, E, no letter, 
Don't know yet. C. Uh, we're going to need a lot more letters to make out the message. Four down. Elizabethan stirs fries, adding bits of onion and mushroom. So Elizabethan probably means it's a Shakespearean word for stirs. Could be prisons. Fries, adding bits of onion and mushroom. I don't know. Seven down. Sorry about this. Seven down. Let's just click a bit. Ah, what should we do? Right, there we go. Seven down. Burke tangled with faller. Well, that looks like an anagram. Having lots of obstructions in play. In play again could be another Shakespearean word. Um, I don't know. Eight down. End to bring on half of pain quickly. I think half of pain is IN. And then quickly is VIT or VITO. So send to bring on would be invite, probably. Probably a missing S. Nine down, nobelium, that's N-O, and sulphur, that's S, according to the board, and again, I'm sure that's according to the bard, another Shakespearean qualification. Give birth, ah, it, according to the bard, give birth, een, to een, is a Shakespearean word for to have a child. So that would give us N-O-S-E-A-N. To mineral sulfate and silicate. I mean, that is a word. I'm not absolutely sure what it means, but it could be this kind of scientific, scientific mineral sulfate and silicate definition. Twelve cross note dog end abandoned from Siggy. Well, that looks like fag without the g giving far. And if you added n o n, you would get far on. So we seem to be adding non. To words a lot. Ten down. I'm not 100% about that, but it could be right. Ava's, Ava's potentially made home, guided without having returned at first. Guided can be led. Without having returned could be sine backwards, so enailed. Ava's potentially made home. There's a missing letter there, and I... Oh, Java, Java's potentially made home would be enailed. So I think there's a missing J there, which is a surprising letter to get in the message, but well done to the compiler if that's right. 14 across bears ripping out birch's core that can lead to rot in the root. <sighs> I'm just trying to think about putting a non in a word here. Canonries would be a word, and caries is rot in a tooth. So I think I may have stumbled on it there. Bears ripping out birch's core. That, oh, bears is caries, taking out the letter R, which is the core letter of birch's, because it's in the middle. And you get caries, and if you add the non in, you get canonries. <sighs> That's quite a good bit of solving, actually. Um, and I mean, let's be honest, I did solve this about six months ago, maybe longer, so I have seen it before. Doesn't feel like it, but there we go. Right, so there's been a bit of a delay, and I've had to come back to this because of some drilling. We'll see how far I get this time. Uh, you might notice I've had a haircut in the meantime as well. Right, 16 across. This satisfied 40% of allies, compos allies' composition. Allies making me think of alloy, and satisfied can be met. So I'm thinking that's metal. Um, right, but, eh. Yeah, I think, I think we're looking for the O for alloy, and it's probably an and lit clue. Now, seven down. I'm guessing this is the Shakespearean word for having lots of obstructions or barriers. 
bar full with an extra K. Something one found around capitals. Capitals are UC for uppercase. Adduced can be confounded. Why is a deed something one found? I don't know. There's some letter missing there or added. I don't know what it is. Bar with heraldic flower. Here's issue. No. Derelict palisade. Must be an anagram of palisade. Surrounds state. I don't know. Small flag. No. Let's try 17 across. Oh, Neville shoots material. I don't know what I was doing. This down there isn't a 15 down what's going on there no 14 down the NCA sorry ignored doomsayers ah Cassandra was an ignored doomsayer an anagram of canards with SA in why is that accepting good accepting God no. Oh yes, AS in, and that is a god, and as it's a Nordic god of some sort. 24. Dutch take to whatever extent Indiana's grasses, Russes are grasses, Indians grasses. Dutch. Oh, Duras? Dutch is DU, take is R. For a recipe and AS as for what to whatever extent. Is there an extra A in that one? No, we didn't know that. 30. Downcast artist is hard. Sad RA? Blue eye. 32. Network covered men's in the electric cable grid around broken land. Don't understand that. Oh, four down. We've got more letters now. Elizabethan stirs. What well, homages would still fit, but I don't really get it. Fries. Adding bits of onion and mushroom. Does fries? Don't really know what's going on there either. Twenty down with a unit. Occasionally cutting out gluten can be a fiddle, right? So G U E is a Highland violin or fiddle, and that would be gluten occasionally cut out, i.e. the even letters cut out. We can add an N O N and get the word Gwen on, which I think might be a monkey. As much as vase can be filled, that looks like urnful, with sand without having abandoned more. So I think that's mournful, sad, without having an old word for more, M O, and that gives us urnful. So there's the anagram of LAN in 32 across. Network covered. Enlaced men's in the electrical cable grid. Don't quite understand it. 30 downcast artist is hard. No, 28. Oh, pennon is a small flag, isn't it? But that's already got the non in. Pen on cell. So pen cell might be a small flag. And that would be peel around North Carolina. And then we add the non in and we get that. I think that's right. 17 down. American barn needs strut in developing form. There aren't many words with DP in and a tadpole is one. So it's an American bairn is a tad and a pole is a strut. 
Okay, so Lowry, 30 across, downcast artist is hard. Oh, low. That's got to be a W. Low. No, I don't know what's going on there. Artist is hurt. There must be a word. Oops, Lowry. So that's the sound of Lowry, the artist, who's got a W. And that must be a word meaning downcast. I don't know. Right, Neville shoots material. So evil shoots. Anagram of shoots. And Tusse is an old silk. There's a lot of variant spellings of that. I don't really know about this. Fries. Adding bits of onion and mushroom. Fries. It's got to end in an S, but there's quite a few words that could go at the start of that. 18 down. Why personality demands a stunt? Hype can be a stunt, I think, in the aid of publicity. So it's hidden in Y personality, so we put in non in that and get hit no. So I think 2032 is enlaced. Ends in the electric cable grid. Okay, so we've got an extra M there. 25 bar with heraldic flower. Here's issue. I'm still not really seeing that. 29. Forget men, rouse neighbour disrespectfully. 19. Flowering shrub is a source of nectar. I think this might be Hebe. Hebenon. Could be a word. Can't quite see why. A he be isn't a source of nectar and would need another E. Bar with heraldic flower. Here's issue. Pub could be a bar. And lis. And hearts with a T missing. And issue is published. There we go. I think that is he be. And then with a non added. Again, there's loads of these nons being added. What's only in mind extract of Seaside Alum? Well, an extract of Seaside Alum, alum is the letters ideal. And it's only in mind, so there's an extra E there. 27. How's gentleman pursuing an ambassador? Could be H-E, His Excellency. Praise Harry. This, this, again, some variant spellings of that. 23. Astern searches in Shetland for sandbanks. I think this is eskers, which are sandbanks. Skurs can be searches in Scotland, and that must be eastern for the E at the beginning instead of astern. 33. Besides university, the LSE, Earth, E, is receding. Preceding for else? Probably. Not really seeing why. 31. Any old, well that's airy, lines with acting in the lead. So RY with A in the lead. So we can add the non to make that nonary. That must be the last added non I would have thought. 27. Okay, so Rye is the gentleman. It's kind of gypsy gentleman. And that must be one of the variant spellings of Harry at 27. And 29, forget men rouse neighbour disrespectfully. Mounseer, it's an English way of describing a Frenchman, a ludicrous kind of corruption of monsieur. Oops, Mounseer, the knee there. It's an anagram of men rouse, forge men rouse. Okay, so haven't quite solved that last letter there in four. Let's see what the extra letters are here. We've got S, E, no, no, that was C, F, 
for left SEC sec it begins okay uh, that had a non that had a non 16 that was an O seco N second so I think we're gonna make second 22 something one oh, I didn't really understand this something done is a deed so second right Dutch take that was an A second A that was hearts a T I didn't really understand that oh no I had a non that's okay right 29 that was a T second ant no second ATT downcast that was an E at could be attempt nonary then that was an M for ends that was a P for proceeding and that was a T second attempt B Y second attempt by now we don't know about this one in four down so hopefully this will help get that six down had a non seven was a K second attempt by something K eight um, end oh send we think something KS mm. nine was barred so second attempt by something could be you no I don't know something KSO second attempt by something KSO J God O Sodger I So joy. That was a non, that was a non, that was a non. And for no, that was an N join. Second attempt by something K S O join E E Oh, this is Charles, gentlemen. That's Chal is another gypsy gentleman word. So E E C to join E E C. So S in send tend to bring on is to invite. So that's T. So it's second attempt by U K. So that's furies adding Brits of onion and mushroom rages adding out of them is rummages. So the message is second attempt by UK to join EEC. And what it says is that's one event with within an within a historical sequence that has a contemporary significance because of Brexit. Remain includes a normal, but solvers must greet their answers with the same response that the event received which was not so obviously at the UK's second attempt I think it got vetoed by France General de Gaulle so he said no um, and that's the puzzle we've added no a lot we've had some rejections or introductions of missing letters which seems to be kind of hinting at the rejection of member states or indeed possibly now the rejection of the EU by the UK um, so there we go. It's a it's a sort of Brexit puzzle. Well, it's an EEC puzzle, um, very contemporary in some ways, uh, although a bit of a throwback to that historical event when General de Gaulle said no to the UK, and uh, maybe he'd saved he would have saved an awful lot of pain now. Whatever your views on Brexit, anyway. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that was vaguely entertaining. Uh, please reply we oui rather than not to that question and do feel free to subscribe if you've enjoyed this great to be with you and I uh, hope to see you again soon bye now no, rien de rien.